Mark Scar on the Scar Card on 103.7 The Fox. Proud to bring in from the Georgia Thunderbolts, Mr. T.J. Lyle. T.J., how are you? Welcome. I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. You bet. The Georgia Thunderbolts, one of my favorite of the newer bands. I'd put you right up there with bands like Rival Sons and Dirty Honey, some of my favorite new sounds coming out. It's a, it's a pleasure to finally meet you and have you on this show. I appreciate that. What a compliment. And I bet you never hear this. You remind me so much of Mr. Ronnie Van Zant. I hear that pretty often. That's still a huge compliment to me. I really appreciate that. I, I would imagine that you listened to them and so many others growing up, and they had a profound influence on you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that was a, that was the thing. We always had Leonard Skinner and Led Zeppelin and everything that was influential to me. It really showed in my music, and that was definitely one of my influences for sure. TJ, when did the band found? When did you start? 2016, late 2016. Okay, so you've been rocking and rolling five years now. That's a nice long run. Oh, yeah. And you're getting ready to release a full length. We've been playing tracks off of the EP, and it's my understanding, TJ, that all those songs from the EP are going to wind up on Can We Get a Witness, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, it is. Out October 15th on Mascot Records. And you're going to do a vinyl of this, too, with a bonus track, right? Yeah, I think there'll be an A, B, C, D side to this uh, vinyl, so look forward to that. Got to let those records breathe a little bit. So a two-record set right out of the oh, gate yeah. with a bonus song called You Better Run From The Beast. Tell me about that song. You Better Run From The Beast is really about standing up for what you believe in in general. No matter what the cause, it could be fighting for something you believe in or just chasing after a dream or something. I try to write things that remain close to positivity and try to be influential in the ways that I write and stuff. And I just really want everyone to succeed. I don't want to see anybody fail. That's a great mantra. T.J. Lyle from the Georgia Thunderbolts with us. I understand the first song you wrote was Looking for an Old Friend, right? Yes, sir. What was the inspiration for that one? It was one of those songs, really, that just come out of thin air. We sat down to write a song, and that's the song that come out, you know. The first words was just staring out into the sunlight. And I wonder if I'm the only one. And then it took off from there. It took a whole different meaning from there. T.J., would you say songwriting is something that, that comes pretty natural to you and the band? You know, I really have to work on it because there's so many people out there who are great and there's so many great writers that I've looked up to that I try to compare myself to, but every songwriter is different. Every process is different. I have to work for it uh, because I want it to be that good. I want, it, I want to go the extra mile. Like, you know how college grads and college students do the extra work to pass that test. I want to do the extra work to write the next best song. I put the same work ethic into writing a song as somebody would do in a college paper. TJ, would you consider yourself somewhat of a perfectionist? I try to be, yes. Yeah, me too. I try to be. Me too. I can relate. We're with TJ Lyle from the Georgia Thunderbolts. You guys hail from Rome, Georgia. For somebody that's like myself that's never been there, tell me a little bit about Rome, Georgia. Well, Rome, there's it's a lot of it's a lot of water towns. You know, it's a lot of, it used to be a lot of mill towns before the mill shut down and stuff. So there's a lot of waterway entry and stuff. Uh, the Etowah River and Ustanal and stuff like that. The Coosa River. It's, uh, it's the, one of a, one of the bigger cities in Northwest Georgia. Besides, I live in Taylorsville, which is not very far out from Rome. Okay. But Rome's just an old mill town, and uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of people there. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about Mascot Records and your relationship with them. Ron Berman come out to see us play. Uh, Richard Young from the Kentucky Headhunters mm -hmm. got uh, Ron Berman, head a and R, to come out and watch us play at a place in um, Nashville, Tennessee, the basement east. And we got to do a showcase there for Ron, and he wanted to sign the band. And uh, so we signed, and then all of a sudden, you know, COVID happened. And uh, so we've been kind of waiting it out, but they've been super patient, super efficient, trying to really help us get our stuff in a row and all of our eyes crossed and dotted and stuff. And, I mean, they've really been helpful to uh, our marketing. You know, they've really been behind us and they've really supported us and they've been trying to get us out on top. So it's been a cool experience, even though we have been in lockdown for a little while and things are starting to pick back up. It really has been a cool experience working with them. They're such great, great, nice people. Talking to T.J. Lyle from the Georgia Thunderbolts. T.J., was the bulk of the record recorded before the uh, before COVID hit? Uh, yes. 
Yes, it was. And you mentioned Richard Young, of course. Uh, our listeners will know him from the Kentucky Headhunters. And, of course, his son plays in Blackstone Cherry. How did you get on Richard's radar? We played up in uh, northwest Georgia at an agricultural fair with the Kentucky Headhunters back in early, early 2017, late 16, I believe. And we started playing our set, and Richard heard us playing on the back of the bus with his window open. And thank God the air was out on that bus that day, or he wouldn't have had the window open. He was listening to us, and he jumped off the bus real fast and come watched our whole entire show. And when we got done playing that evening, and they got done playing, we all, you know, sat around talking. He asked if we want to come up and cut a record. We said, for sure, and that's been the history so far. <laughs> it seems somewhat easy. It never is supposed to be that easy, is it? No, no, not at all. It was, uh, it was sure luck. We're, we're definitely blessed to have Richard in our corner because he's a, he's a heavyweight man. He really, he's a great guy. That's fate. That's that's what that is for sure. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So I know you've been out doing some shows. We're kind of waiting to see what goes on with this pandemic. What's the plan for uh, 2022? 2022, I don't have many dates, just right off the top of my head, but I do know there are some Europe things in the works, and I do know that actually this October, if things hold, we will be going on tour with Blackstone Cherry and Jared James Nichols. So that will be awesome seen both bands that's so it's a great triple bill right there uh oh, we're with tj T. lyle from the georgia thunderbolts uh tj tell me about the rest of the guys in your band well they like to play music i tell you that much they like to uh they like to eat too we all like to eat <laughs> no it, it, we're all just a bunch of driven guys you know i mean we really work off of each other and feed off of each other and we try to pull the best out of each other for what we do and we don't we, we never catch each other slack and we're always trying to give it 110 percent no matter what and i really couldn't ask for a better group of guys to play music with that's for sure you're getting a lot of great press that's got to be humbling and exciting at the same time oh Absolutely, man. It's, it, it's it's nice that we're starting to catch the attention of people, you know, because that, that's something that only people would dream of. And we're, we're just glad to be a speck on the radar. You got a great group of songs, and I can't wait to hear the rest of these. It's going to be, um, obviously, as I mentioned, all the songs that were on the EP will be on the full length. But you got a total of 13 on this record and 14 with the vinyl. So I hope people go out and buy it and support the Judge of Thunderbolts. And uh, I'm looking forward to following your trajectory. Hey going to be great and I really appreciate the support for TJ Lyle of the Georgia Thunderbolts I'm Mark Scar on the Scar Card on 103.7 The Fox Just say goodbye but touch me deep inside
From the forthcoming album, Can We Get a Witness? The Georgia Thunderbolts on the Scar Card and Be Good to Yourself. A huge thanks to T.J. Lyle, lead vocalist of the Georgia Thunderbolts, for being our guest tonight on the Scar Card. And more of the new classic rock that rocks straight ahead right here on 103.7 The Fox.